Ooh. Let me go get my let me go get my new apron real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? <laughs> uh, where my water at? Yeah. Alright, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Todd Reed, your local art dealer. And if this caught your eye, then you would definitely love my website. Go check out yourlocalartdealer.com. Just launched it about a couple of weeks ago. I'm super excited. But if you go take a look, you'll see a bunch of prints like this. I have 11 by 14, 16 by 20, and 22 by 28. I don't like doing small prints. I draw with so much detail, I want you to kind of see it, you know? So I don't really go to eight by 10s or anything like that. Definitely not any five by sevens, but uh, but maybe, hey, if you guys request them, hey, I give the people what they want, you feel me? But today's video is gonna be super simple. I'm gonna draw a beautiful, beautiful, all black King Corso mixed with some other breed. I'll have to check that out. I'll put it up on the screen. I'm doing this for my boy Wes. It's a surprise, but I'm, I should have, have it finished today and give it to him later on tonight. First, I'll show you the canvas. So I'm going to do with this size for him. It's 18 by 24. Outside, I already have a wooden frame for him uh, that I already spray painted black. I'm going to show you guys the process. It's super simple. It's going to be all black dog. And for all black, you could get away with so little detail. Kind of do like little highlights here and there. You can make it perfect so um so i'm just gonna use like three colors blue black and white instead of just black and white i'm not gonna talk too much about it i'm gonna show you guys and i'll talk as i go through the process okay so stay tuned all right so for the brand of paints i'm using i'm using uh windsor and Newton gallery acrylic i like it a lot super affordable i try um golden paint um i have no problem with it just it's just really expensive so uh and these do really fine for me to be honest um i really use basics or anything less than that uh, because uh, i've noticed that when i go to paint over it it starts coming up i don't like that no no i don't like that at all so it's good for simple stuff but you know since i do it professional i'm gonna give my client you know the best product so or not the worst at least <laughs> who takes me you got down payment for a painting dreams do come true Kyle. your boy was struggling even just last year to be honest so it's nice to kind of see my business kind of growing so <laughs> so i'm just taking this ivory black i'm gonna mix it with um what am i mixing it with i'm mixing it with uh ultramarine blue same brand blue blue also you guys should definitely uh try limited palettes because uh it helps you understand color a lot better if you need green, I, I, I would suggest mixing your own green. I'll explain that more in like future videos, but it helped me a lot understand color better, you know? Damn, I need water. It's so hard not to look at this big ass monitor, but I got water right here. All right, so I'll I'm just gonna go straight forward and kind of like uh, gesture it out instead of uh, you know going in with my pencil because I've done this a long time so it, it kind of it gets a little easier for me. But I think everybody should kind of uh, not rely too much on pencil drawings. Um, so that way it gets easier to you know. I'm struggling. I'm just getting right into it. It's mad weird talking to a camera. So what's very important is to focus on angles. Like for example, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but let's say this angle is this way. You kind of find the angles and make sure you emulate that, okay? Because angles do not lie. All right, so I'm just paying attention to all these angles, right? Y'all see that? <coughs> okay. All the angles, here's the forehead, the eyebrow, the ear, here's the jawline. without a 
grid or anything gets so much easier because you start focusing on angles. The angles do not lie. everything else around it you know so if, if, if they're in the shade it's going to look more blue if they're in the sun it's going to look more yellow but i kind of like that nice rich blue color because it reminds me um kind of like ravens when they're in the light like i said if, because the animal is all black does not mean it looks you know just like a black boy basically you know everything really likes some type of color especially in nature i mean i'm just looking at my reference photos So let's say, oh, I don't know where to put the eye. Can I put it too far over there, or too far over here? So for me, the, I just look at, it's all about comparing everything, you know? So if I look here, the eye, the corner of the eye matches up with the end of the ear. So that's where I, my eye should be, okay? So just looking for small little things like that, okay? I'm just taking my black and just blocking it in where it's like a really, really dark. coming together that fast like I just started it's all about you know I'm not saying about taking shortcuts it's about draw, doing enough drawing to figure out nice shortcuts for yourself you know to become more efficient the more you do something more efficient you can become Dip into my black and blue. 
So now I have my slightly darker tone. I mean, slightly lighter tone, sorry. Or a tint, actually. So tint is when you add white. Tone is when you add black. I gotta fact check myself. a lot because I like to block color in and since you can rotate it a lot you can kind of like do smaller you know you can do the kind of different styles with it um this is my personal preference I could use a flat right now and still be happy but I kind of like this a lot especially since it's longer because like, like I said I'm not doing too much detail work right now but you can like scrub into it that's why I like canvases sometimes too kind of scrub into it Like out the white. So a lot of people um, tone their canvas. I'm one of those people. So I like to tone canvases. So toning canvases means making anything but white, basically. So you kind of make it a nice neutral color. So um, it just depends on your personal preference. I didn't really want to for this. Kind of knew I was gonna get a nice deep look to it. So I didn't really need to. And my colors have enough coverage. You know, I'm not even using any transparent colors. Before I go and render this, I'm gonna start working on the background now. This is on my first layer. I'm gonna go back in with another layer. As you guys can see, it's all done. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my website, yourlocalartdealer.com. Also check out my Instagram. I post a lot on there. I have my stories and a lot of good stuff. I want to start uh, posting every Wednesday and Saturday. If not, every Wednesday for sure. 
I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, comment below what you guys thought. Let me know what else what you guys want to see from me, you know. As you can see, I love drawing animals. People is my specialty for sure. Yeah, just throw me some ideas around. I want to keep doing this, you know. Like I said, I really appreciate you guys checking this video out. Peace.